tired of eating clothes code usage limit, you are not alone. That message pops up way too often. In this video, I'll show you four proven methods to stretch in your usage without crossing the line. But before we dive into the how, we need to understand the why. Because once you understand how companies like Anthropic or OpenAI actually charge you, the tips will make a lot more sense. So how does these companies calculate usage? It's all about tokens. Every time you send a prompt, whether it's plain text, code, images, or attached files, that all gets converted into input tokens. And whatever the model sends back, that's counted as output tokens. Now you might be thinking, wait, I'm on subscription, I'm not paying by the token. And you are right, technically. But here's the catch. Those subscriptions are still limited by token usage. Each plan gives you a certain amount of usage over a time interval. So if you are not being billed per prompt, you are absolutely being capped. And once you hit that limit, you'll see this message. Let's break down Claude's pricing to make it clear. If you are using Claude via API, Sonnet 4 will cost $3 per 1 million input and $15 per 1 million output. Opus will be 5x more expensive. And if you are using Claude code through subscription, here's what you need to know. Proplan gives you about 45 Claude messages and 10 to 40 Claude code prompts every 5 hours, while the max plan multiplies that by 5 or even 20 depending on the max plan. So how do you actually reduce usage? The first method is tricky because it's not a known fact, but LLMs are stateless. That means that every time you send a new prompt, it includes the entire conversation history unless you tell it otherwise. So if you had 20 back and forth messages with Claude code and you didn't clear them, you are sending the full history again and again every single time. So it means that you are paying for all those tokens repeatedly. So tip number one is to take control over the context you attach. Use clear command when switching tasks or getting into a messy chat. You can also use the compact command when the context is still helpful, but you want it to be lighter. Cloud actually does compact automatically. When your thread gets too long, you've probably seen this message. Tip number two is all about precision. Cloud can understand large code bases, but if you let it explore freely, you are burning tokens fast. Instead of saying, here's my whole repo, go find the bug, say something like, check the verify user function inside auth.js, that's where the issue probably is. Being specific cuts down token usage, speeds up response, and gives you more focused answer. Don't let Cloud Code Explore guide it instead. If you are here, it will mean the world to me if you like and subscribe to our channel to help us grow our community. The next tip is my favorite. Cloud Code usage limits resets every 5 hours, and most people just wing it. Tip number 3 is to treat each 5 hours window like a sprint. Before you open Cloud, list all the tasks you wanted to tackle. Prioritize them. Start with the most important ones and batch your work into one session. This simple shift helps you to stay on target, avoid distractions, and reduce unnecessary token usage. If you are on the max plan, you have access to the Opus model, which is awesome, but super expensive in token terms as we saw. Tip number four is all about switching models strategically. Use Opus for high-level planning, complex logic, and deep debugging. Then switch to the Sonnet model for build-out, follow-ups, and light edits. Optimization token usage is great, but if you are wondering how I built three profitable SaaS with Cloud Code, you must watch this video. 